Greetings and salutations. It's your boy D Boom for LLE Ascension, aka LLE Astrology, aka LLE Tarot. We back. You already know what it is. You already know I'm coming. And um, let's make sure the visuals is cool. All day. Um, we in here. So we got the divine masculine situation. Uh, we got the divine feminine situation immediately right after this. And um, definitely going to try to get Twin Flames in union, reunion, and recognition done by the end of the day. Arena, I got you right after these two videos here. By the end of the day, um, I'm off today and tomorrow. So, got you. Uh, divine timing. <laughs> um, aside from that, no rants. Everything is everything. Everything is everything. Let me just get these, these energies out. Pull the spread out. And then we're going to get some good uh, analogies. And then we're going to get some good uh, understanding here. And then we're going to get some good moves going. You know? This is definitely for the divine masculine. Uh, most divine feminines uh, are now identifying with the divine masculine role. Um, it comes from awareness. It comes from knowing your role. Uh, you got two roles out here. You got the three of wands. That's the divine feminine's role. And you got the two of wands, which is the divine masculine's role. And wands are all about action and behavior. And behavior is consistent and action is ever present. <coughs> Gonna pick out these clarification cards and we will get busy once again. This is divine masculine situation. One moment. My masculine role is out here. Zion is out here. Outside conflict is out here. Uh, communication card is out here. Those are all wands. We have rolling with the homies being clarified by the sauce card. We have the four of swords with no sign of the devil nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Being clarified by the two of cups, the lovers card. We got the Patty the Bell card out here. That's clarifying the Nebuchadnezzar card, the Ace of Wands, the Awareness card, another good wand. We got the Tough Love uh, 1950s, 1960s dad here. Uh, we have the Queen of Cups, which is a psychic card, ghosting card, um, trusting your own intuition. We got the God Smack here, God's card, King of Swords. He's present, ever present. We have the Distraction card that's clarifying him. It's going to be a good, uh, it's going to be some goodies right there. We got the Seven of Cups, the Pimp Cup Chronicles being clarified by victories and wins. In celebrations, we have the bridge, the, 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 the bridge, three of pentacles being clarified by the two of wands, which is the divine masculine's role in survival overall. Overall energy, we have the Akon Lonely card, a Fian, five. It's being clarified by the five of swords. Two fives. <clears throat> low vibrations, low energy. Masculine. Five of Cups. This is that Akon Mr. Lonely card that was in the Twin Flames and Separation reading. You still own that. You see how you have the Four of Cups, the world card, how the divine masculine is isolated in the world. He's not really isolated in the world. He could be a she, she could be a he, you know how we rock it. They're not really isolated in the world. This is just a two-dimensional image of what this is in the world. In 3D, this cup here is here, and the world is down here, where it should be. So it's really isolation. But since it's cups, emotions, it's the Acom, Mr. Lonely thing about it. You know what I'm saying? Clarifying that as the five of swords, this is a delay. This is not being able to see someone because you can't. This is not being able to do something because you can't. It's like can't. Five of swords, it's like the can't. It's like can't. And you know can is nothing. There is no can't in life. You can achieve all things through God, through yourself. The Christ mind state. However, you coming. Let me put some more smoke on this overall energy with these two fives, this isolation vibe, emotionally and mentally. That the divine masculine is coming into the situation with. We have the ace of cups. Five of cups plus this ace of cups right here, which is self-care, self-love, self-respect, self-admiration. You gotta love yourself before you can love another person. And at the end of the day, you a alone out here in the world. 
That's why you got to learn how to hold yourself down any motherfucking way, like balloon strings. <clears throat> Top of all that, told you, the sauce, the sauce card is out here, too. This is in the future of the Divine Masculine's Mystery Madness, bro. Ace of Cups plus five of Cups and six of Cups. Sauce. This is sauce, too. So what the fuck he or she needs to do. You know what I'm saying? Get off this Akon, Mr. Lonely. I have nobody. Like, you got to get off that shit, G, because, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you got somebody. Okay? These things are just half the battles. You better thank God I ain't no five of pentacles out here. You know? You having nothing. And really being asked out by yourself, Akon, Mr. Lonely Physical. You feel what I'm saying? This is just some self-awareness, self-love, self-care, taking care of yourself. The divine masculine has to take care of him or herself while they're up here, up here. Because like I say, this is low ass vibration. This is the vibration of Earth. This is low as shit, karmics and shit. It's just low. Got to put an add on, A for add on. You know what I'm saying? Throw something in the mix. Mix. Five of cups plus ace of cups. Sauce. Got to put an add on. You know what I'm saying? You got to mix something in and get yourself saucy. Overall energy, masculine, bottom line energy. Got the ace of wands here. Awareness. You're Neo, okay? So, of course, you're aware, all right? But you be in the world, once again, a lot. A for a lot to where, and these are actions, too, to where it's like, um, you're going to have to really adjust. Not assimilate. A for assimilate, but just adjust. Actions, wands, just adjust. Eight of cups, just the same Paylor Bell energy you was on the last reading. Behaving yourself, you know. You know, really keeping your nose clean out here. You know, really doing what you can to stay out of trouble. Which is A for awesome. And this is a high vibrational energy. This is a divine card. Aces to, to tens are karmic cycles, but this is a divine card within the karmic cycle. And that's A for awesome. So divine masculine, bottom line, awareness, a little awareness, and staying on your P's and Q's and carrots. Those are the things that's going to get you where you need to get to, you know. Plus, blessings is on the way. I'll get to that later. Coming to the situation, your mystery man is real masculine. We got the king of swords. This is a god smack. This is a divine intervention. This is judgment. This is a court settlement. You know, this is something outside yourself that it's a decision. It's a decision that's getting made totally outside yourself. And the reason why this decision is here is because of a three of cups, a distraction. Or this is you. And these are like your children. This is you. And this is like your spouse and the child that you have, your spouse and their mother, or just your spouse and another fucking entity who basically revolve around you. You know what I'm saying? And it's like <clears throat> this is the sword that cuts. You away from these two. You see how you focus in another direction and they're all looking at you like birds ready for puke to get from their mother and shit. Come on now. What we got in the overall energy? Ace of Cups. This is you. Let me turn that over real quick. <laughs> this is you. And you're going in a whole nother direction. That's why you're here. And you got to be Ace of Cups plus five of cups, saucy. Six of cups, saucy about it. Gotta be very saucy about it. And it's all mental on how you're feeling too. So you're just, your distractions are basically getting cut off. God is definitely uh, <laughs> alleviating what he has to alleviate for you to move on your separate way from whatever karmic situation you're getting into, getting out of, or on. Moving on. Got the four of wands here. Why masculine? You coming into the situation. You have the four of wands here. This is home or this is union. And once again, this is Fist Twin Flame Union. It's like you are pivoting, pussyfooting around when it comes to the union. Or off that, this would be you gotta go home. This is Zion, four of wands. This is heaven. This is home. This is your house. 
This is where your heart is. Home is where the heart is. So wherever your home, like heart is, that's where your home is, and you need to get there. And you just mentally, mentally, swords, mentally, pussyfooting around to get there. You just pussyfooting around. You know, you're supposed to be somewhere, but you ain't there. And you know what I mean? That's 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 no bueno. Let me put some more smoke on that. Why are you pussyfooting around? And what's the demo with that? To the ones, you know, you gotta end something you're passionate about. No, you gotta end something you're passionate about. You know what I mean? It's not a permanent ending. It's just a temporary ending. It's the difference between a permanent and a and a temporary ending. Plus ten of wands, okay. Plus four of wands, union, Zion. That's really the ace of wands, because the thirteen wands, thirteenth wand is the king of wands, the divine masculine. What's after divine masculine? This bottom line right here, this ace of wands, new awareness, a for awareness. Ace of Cups, Divine Awareness. Ace of Cups, Divine Awareness. This is a karmic card, but it's divine. It's the Patty LaBelle card, baby. <laughs> divine Awareness. This is this. You understand me? So coming to the situation, you're fully aware. A for awareness. <laughs> you're fully aware. And this is consciously, not subconsciously masculine. That you need to get home. Or you need to get to your union. And you need to stop pussyfooting around. And you know you need to end something you're passionate about right now. About when it comes to passion, it's not sexual. Passion, this is some shit you really fucking die for. This is some shit you ain't. This is some shit you will be Lucy Lou about. Ten toes the fuck down on. Not playing and bullshit when anybody on your quest to get what you need to get. Period. And this is a temporary ending too. This ain't even permanent. But you go through temporary endings. Passionate. You was passionate about it. Damn, I want to go do that. It's like a kid in a fucking game room. How I used to be. I used to cry coming out the game room and shit. Because I was so cold at the games. I had a limit to spend and I didn't really spend the money I came to, to use because I was so cold. You know what I mean? I didn't even need all them quarters. And I used to stay in there and when I had to leave, I used to cry and shit. I was like a young buck, though. I had to end something I was passionate about. So if I was crying and coming out the, the game room, just imagine what I wouldn't want to end type shit. You know what I mean? It's all mental. But this is actions, behaviors. This is a behavior. A behavior you need to put a passion into. But the behavior stems from the action. The actions that you're putting into. Like you only invest time, energy, and resources into things. This would be the investment part. The action investment part of something. You need to put a passion into. Why? Because it's like you got to be a diva out here. And you got a new set of awareness. That comes from going home and putting something you had a passion into. You know what I mean? If your actions moving, actions moving, you ain't in your motherfucking head. Coming to the situation of I'm asking, you're realizing if you ain't moving, if you ain't doing nothing, ain't nothing gonna get done. Divine Feminine was learning that lesson. Now you're learning it. <laughs> if you don't do nothing, D.O. If you don't do nothing, nothing's gonna get done. D.O. any. Moving on. Feminine role. Divine Masculine. Your Mystery Madness role in regards to the feminine right now. We have the Seven of Cups, Pimp Cup Chronicles. Pimp Cup Chronicles is digging deep within yourself. These are emotions. This is digging deep within yourself. Emotionally getting to a point in yourself that you didn't know you could do. This is like getting on stage and ripping the house down for your first time. Or you playing basketball or baseball or anything for your first time. And learning that this, you can do it. Fighting, whatever. Anything. You're like, wow, I'm a natural at it. But I, you don't know you're a natural until you know you're a natural. You know what I'm saying? You can do anything, but when you deep down, you know, like, yo, I'm a natural at this. Meaning, you dug deep and found something about yourself, you know. Like you was a natural. Like you was great. Like you had powers. Like you had influence. Like you had something to bring to the table. Like your, whatever, your purpose, whatever. Digging deep. Okay, these are emotions too. Gets all the way to the Queen of Cups card, which is out here, and the King of Cups card, which is out here, which is basically dealing with emotions in a divine level. It's best you really dig deep within yourself, karmically, with Seven of Cups. So by the time you get to the divine level of dealing with your emotions, you know how to deal with them. Pay close attention to what these are too. Higher realms, actually, they're below. <laughs> 
So this is divine masculine in regards to the feminine. This is divine masculine's mystery madness role in regards to the feminine. Keep that in mind. So aside from digging deep within yourself, feminine, excuse me, masculine, so sorry. <laughs> aside from digging deep within yourself, masculine, you need to get some W's out here. Six of Wands from doing that. Six of Wands. That's celebrations or victories. You need some victories. You need some celebrations. You need some W's. Whole time. You're digging deep within yourself and getting W's. That's like pushing yourself. Whatever you was preparing for, whatever you was detoxing for, working out for, slimming down for, practicing for, studying for, whatever that was. Wands, actions. Six of, six of Wands. Those are actions, right? Behavior, right? Victories and celebrations are just the sixth step in the wands process. It's the step before the seven of wands, which is internal conflict. <laughs> it's a process of steps. In your mystery madness role, your subconscious masculine, you need to really dig deep and fork out some wins. Like some W's to send you to do it. Just crank them on out once again. Uh, as far as the masculine regards to the feminine, we got two divine cups here. We got the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. King of Cups, this is tough love, 1950s, 1960s dad. This is just like tough love on a supreme level. And aside from showing tough love, which is basically like a stiff arm or like a, it's like, like I said, 1950s, 1960s dad. Or a dad from the pioneer, you know, the pioneer frontier ages, Oregon Trail type shit. You know what I mean? Like, it was real back then. So, because they didn't have really time to be all mushy with emotions and shit like that. There was no Disney movies. There were no, I mean, it probably was, but there was nothing on the scale that it is now that feeds and enables the empath empathetic and emotional realm that's fucking blowing up out here. You know what I mean? King of Cups. This is, like I said, it's like a dad going to the frontier. Hey, I'm about to look for food and substance, son. Um, I know you're 13 and shit, but hey, if I don't come back in, uh, I don't know, let's just say two months, just stop looking for me and um, just take care of the family. You know? I uh, love you and uh, I will see you when I see you. Peace. <laughs> Wife, same shit. Kiss her. Go out here in the world. Do what I do. Chances of me dying in the new frontier. Somewhere in Utah in the 19 circuit circuit 1800s. <laughs> Somewhere in the 1800s, the 19 early 20th century shit. Like, man, it's, it's it's real out here. And if it worked for them, it works for us. They ain't had time to be on this goofy, mushy, emotional bullshit we claim is whatever now. Like, fuck all that. That's why I'm straightforward with my messages and shit. I'm saying all that to say this. The tough love you're supposed to have on a divine level is the tough love you're supposed to have on a divine level, okay? You got to know when to show no love, no apathy, no type of remorse, no type of view, no even look at certain things in life. It's the world, four of cups. It's temporary. It's, it's not infinite. It's nothing divine. It's a whole realm of non-divineness, and you need to know how to maneuver in the world. Otherwise, you will die. You will perish. And you got a purpose out here to fulfill, so you don't need that fate. Aside from all that, we got the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. This is like a psychic. Kind of like your feminine emotionally holding you down. It's a king and a queen holding her king down. This is what your feminine does. And this is consciously. So emotionally, your feminine is really holding you down. Been holding you down. Okay? It's just you in tough love mode over here. So even she gets the tough love type shit. This is the equivalent of, as always, the person that's closest to you gets the most shit. You know, you, you know, whoever's close to you gets the most blows from you verbally, emotionally, mentally, whether that's like, like I say, it's. It's like you venting, really. You, you ain't lashing out at the person you love. It's just they're there the most. They're the ones that hear you the most. I know it was with me, like me and my twin and shit. Like, I mean, I don't dog them at all. <laughs> but it's more so like maybe 
I don't know. It's just the barrage of bullshit that I spew at him that I think he kind of is interested in hearing when he's really not. And it's just like, you know, get your shit together. Like, quit bitching. Like, what the fuck is your problem type shit? You know what I mean? And it's just like, <laughs> like I say, emotions, uh, whatever. Just out of my body with emotions to where I'm so emotionally into some shit to where I am not in the moment right now. I'm not focused on what matters or feeling the emotional vibe of what counts and what doesn't. It's part of the whole tough love thing. It's the reason tough love is there. Why? Because somebody's got to be level-headed. When some shit doesn't go through or shit hits the fan or death happens or some shit like that, it's like somebody has to have a level head. The world's ending and Fucking aliens just bust through the motherfucking house. Somebody got we all we gotta figure out how to get the fuck out of here. Somebody has to have a level head to make the plan and get shit cracking, and that's what this king of cups is. Point blank. Period. You gotta be a rock for your feminine. You gotta be a rock for yourself. You gotta be a rock for your family. Cause you are the stabilizer. Two of wands. That's out here. That's your role. Which is where we're getting to right now. <laughs> You're the stabilizer. This is you, Divine Masculine, in your masculine role, in your mystery madness. This, this is Divine Masculine's mystery madness role in regards to yourself. You're the two of wands. You're the stabilizer. Like I say, it's like a light here, a light here. It just illuminates the area for work to get done. Or like outside, they're doing work outside, like for work to get done. You just basically illuminate light. For work to get done, you're a stabilizer, Atlas. You're holding the world on your shoulders. It ain't shit to hold the world on your shoulders. You feel me? It's just good to get some help. And now and then, so you can take a break. It's like a person on a shift. Hey, they need to take a break real quick. Hey, can you cover my shift real quick? I got to take a quick five-minute smoke. Or I got to go to the bathroom. Or I got to... Whatever. Can you hold me down real quick? Yeah, I got you. Thank you so much. Boom. That type of energy. That type of vibe. You're catching. You know what I'm saying? You're the stabilizer. You're the person who's always going to be there to connect that dot. This is you here. You're trying to get here. And this is the step in the middle you got to get to get here. Or the middleman. It's like you're the middleman. You're the bridge. You're the plug. You're the... And this is physical, too. These are pinnacles, too. It's like you're, you're a mover. You got movers and shakers. You're a mover. You're definitely a mover. You're a stabilizer and you're a mover, divine masculine. And that's something subconsciously you need to, like this seven of cups, which is before it, bring out from in yourself out to the open. It helps you in so many ways. And of course, bringing things out in the open internally to get you them W's, six of wands. Get you them W's, them wins, more celebrations. And put more smoke on this bridge, this plug, action. Ooh, you got the ten of pentacles. Subconsciously first, consciously next. So within, so without. You gotta think it to receive it. Like you gotta ask and shall receive. So you had your role, divine masculine. <clears throat> I don't know if it was clarifying. Was it clarifying? I don't know. You got the two of wands, basically, it's your role. You're the stabilizer. That whole little rant. Aside from that, you're the plug, you're the bridge. For a lot of shit. You are the middleman for a lot of shit. You are like the plug. Uh, the boss. Like boss man. Like you're something. Aside from that, you are you manifest things. You know, of course you're a manifester, but you manifest things. It's like, of course you're a psychic, but you're doing your message right now. It's like, of course you're a teacher, but you're teaching right now. Like class and session right now, you get in school. You be on shit. You manifest things. You line up things. You know? You set up things and you line them up. This is starting and this is completing. Stabilizer. You are a provider. You're, you're, you're so much to the world masculine, to your family masculine, to your feminine masculine. And you got to understand that. That's why you can't be out here on this karmic shit. That's why you can't be too laxed out here. That's why you got to be on your job too because... You got to be here. That's why your role is the two of fucking wands. Survival. This is staying alive. You have to stay around. <laughs> you being on Earth as long as possible is good for the world. Which puts more on you <laughs> to really be on this bottom line here. Take this newfound awareness and be on your Patty LaBelle shit. 
your diva shit while you out here keeping your nose clean, behaving, and really being unlike the people in the world. Masculine you in regards to your damn self. We got the five of wands, another fan out here. You got every five out here besides the five of pentacles, which is the dark night of the soul, which is good. But at least you're going through all your fucking five lessons. Five of wands, that's outside conflict. Clarifying outside conflict, we got the eight of wands. That's communication. This is in the same card as the last reading, I think. If not last week, I think it was last week. Communication. Communication, communication, communication. Like, you're going through some outside conflict and you really need to talk. Specifically to someone or about it. Is it to someone or about? Let me pick another card. I got to get sure. Ten of Cups. If I'm asking you personally are going through some outside conflict and you would love to have a good conversation about this. You would love to have a good letter about this. You would love to have a good complaint about this. You would love to have a good test. This is like you detesting something. Lawsuit. Countersuing. Um, really going after what you want to go after. Like, you got, you know, it's like you, you apply for something, they denied you, boom, you come back even harder. You know what I'm saying? Well, even more. You came at a five level, it didn't work, boom, you finna come at an eight level with the actions. Wands are actions. You're gonna turn it up. And aside from turning it up, you tend to cuff it in the process. Whatever this is, you detesting. Whatever this is, you fighting. It's like you finna turn up. Ten of Cups, you emotionally fulfilled already. So it ain't the point of you getting what you fighting them for. You're just enjoying the fight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like whether you get the settlement or not, whether you get this, you know what I'm saying, claim or not, whether you get whatever this is or not, it's like you're going to have fun and I'm trying to do it. And you're going to do it. Why? Because you you do shit. You're a manifester. You, you personally, Ten of Pentacles shit. That's what you do. You make things happen. Masculine. And going to the future. You got the Six of Swords. This is rolling with the homies. Being clarified by the Six of Cups. Rolling with the homies. This is going with the flow. Six of Swords. Going with the flow. It's like going with the grand, not against it. It's like you going down a river and it's going this way. But the current goes this way, though. You know what I mean? So it's like you fighting for dear life, trying to stay on the water, exerting too much energy, just trying to stay afloat. When in reality, I mean, shit, this river is going exactly where you're going. So you might as well just walk along the bank of the river. Swords, it's, it's all perception on how you coming at shit. Six of Cups, and then you doing it in a saucy way. Six of Cups is saucy. Or Six of Cups is nostalgia. This is remembering how to maneuver out of a situation. This is remembering like what your parents taught you. You boom in a real life situation where you're using that advice that they gave you and it saves your life or it saves your car or it saves your job or it saves your class or grade or some shit like that. It's like nostalgic. You're using something that like I say, your mom used to say, your dad used to say, your grandparents used to say, or what they used to do, they used to pray a lot. You're praying, like, you're using good, sound, divine advice. And that adds on, Ace, Ace of Wands adds on to the whole Ace of Cups thing that's down here, too. Pay the bell card, being on your best behavior. You got two sixes here, let me pick another card, see what happens. Aside from going with the flow, aside from using what you was taught, you know, groom, raised to do, and it kind of prevailing for you, it's like I thought, three sixes, <laughs> six, 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 it's like six of pentacles out here, you're getting square, three fives, three sixes, you're getting square out here, by going with the flow, trust, you know, using what you know, using what was told to you, you know, what was instilled in you, your foundation, that's what I mean, your foundation, like a foundation or a tradition or, like I say, 
what your people used to do. It's like Michael Jordan with the tongue. His dad used to do that when he was working. Michael Jordan do that when he's shitting on motherfuckers on the court. So it's like keeping up tradition. You know, your mother used to cook on Sundays. You cook on Sundays. You know what I'm saying? You used to go to church uh, as a kid. And now you got kids. You're going to take your kids to church for that. Tradition. It's keeping good shit up. It's a good tradition. Keeping good shit up. You know what I mean? Smooth sailing. Emotionally. And getting yourself square. Because by you doing that tradition, by you like taking your kids to church, because you was brought up in church, you're getting your kids square by doing that. And you're getting square by doing that to your with your kids. You know? Whoopins. <laughs> Whoopins. You know what I'm saying? I will be giving out some when I have my shorties because I got exposed to them and I know what they do. Six of swords. You, you, you'll go with the flow. Whoopins make you go with the flow. Whoopins keep you in line. Okay, aside from that, it's emotional nostalgia. Like, you'll get a flashback from a whooping if it was, you know what I'm saying? And to know to, the same energy, you know not to do shit. It's what makes you not steal. It's what makes you not do a lot of shit. Your parents taught you or whoever was grooming you, teaching you. It's that type of energy that got you square and you bringing on tradition by making sure the kids under you, like your kids get square or your grandkids get square or your parents get square physically. Your pinnacles physically. That's all the subconscious or mystery man is wrong. Um, you masculine going to the future. We have the four swords. This is rust and relaxation or being in your head. I take it as being in your head about a two of cup situation. Got to put more smoke in this. There's too many ways I can go with that. Who the momento? Devil card. <laughs> so yeah, it's like you are behaving divine masculine, taking this newfound awareness that you just got from your boy, that you just got from the collective, that you just got from the world, the stuff that you just got from the, the, the spirit realm and shit. Like it's like out of all this awareness, it's all telling you to stay on the path you've been on, which is behaving yourself and being good and and all this good good you know what I'm saying? Good ascension you want. Like, you're ascending. And it's good that you're doing that. However, okay, you leaving the reading, going to the future, this is just a warning. Please do not be too in your head, four of swords, about how you're going to two a cup or twin. Because the devil card pop right out. I told you, when the four of swords pop out, the devil come out. This is the final card in the reading, was these two right here. The why I'm asking going to the future. It's the bottom right corner. Boom, four swords come out. He had to come out. It's Agent Smith. I'm telling you, this motherfucker is trying to get to Zion. Now, on that analogy, we can start asking universal questions. I told you, Agent Smith looks a lot like a false twin flame. This devil card looks like a lot, a lot like a false twin flame, or it looks a lot like past addictions, person falling off the wagon, whether that's alcohol. Crack, coke, dope, whatever. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? This is a person just being a fucking sex crazed fiend out here. Fucking like ain't no tomorrow out here. And this is the energy of a person that's very negative. Very negative. Like a person you don't even know. Like a person you don't even know. And this is energy that's bad. Not only for the masculine, but for you too, feminine. Luckily, <laughs> the way this looks, just throwing that out there to tell you where I see when I look at these cards. It's just dancing with the devil. Two a cup and orbiting the devil, dancing with the devil. It's on the it's all on the mind of the masculine. In the midst of them, like I say, remaining a good sport, a diva, in the midst of whatever's going on. It could be a court case, could be a lawsuit, whatever it is. <laughs> It's like you're really behaving, but in the midst of this divorce, in the midst of this whatever, it's like you're really fucking thinking about relapsing. You're really fucking thinking about, you know what I mean, doing something you don't want to do or something you're going to regret. And the thing about it is you could be doing it already. Get off it. You definitely don't want to go into the future with this shit, and you definitely don't want to get off it. And then check this out. 
The devil comes out. I don't mind four swords is the devil's workshop. Devil card, right? What's on top of this? <laughs> and the mystery madness row. Three six. I'm double right here. <laughs> Dancing with the devil. For real. Like the future. This is the future for the masculine, man. Agent Smith, man. Looks like Matrix 3. <laughs> Neon Nathan Smith fights for the final fucking time. What does the Divine Master want to tell the Divine Feminine right now in the 4th and 5th dimension? Full card. Whole new world like Aladdin. But naked out here in these streets. But naked out here in the world. But naked out here in Zion. But naked out here, period. It's like a person that ain't got their friend. Lost their best friend. A person that lost their first turtle. Their first goldfish. Their first gerbil. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like you don't know what to do. Sorry for me not knowing what to do out here in the world, masculine. You got the Ace of Swords. But you do know mentally, Sword is mental. You're going to have to go in one direction. And that's up. What's up? God's up, right? Yeah. And the divine feminine heads in that direction frequently. That's the direction she's on. So if you don't know where to go, full card, just head in the direction you know your feminine setting. Which is the energy you want already. Okay? You have the awareness. Ace of Wands. That's the Nebuchadnezzar. That's the first step in the awareness process. That's the first step in the actions process. You can't go nowhere without awareness. But it's cool to have awareness. But if you ain't taking that shit to the next level, using it, this is survival. This is like a cyborg that just, I'm telling you, just, <laughs> I'm alive. Like, you're aware and shit. And then two of wands, what's this? This is you protecting yourself. So you got to get out the facility without killing human beings. That'll be the very ace of cup, like eight of cups. That'll be the very divine thing to do is for you to be an aware robot and bust out of a motherfucking factory, not kill nobody. Okay, just so you can survive. Because you're in a weird fucking machine. They're going to kill you when they get their hands on you. They're going to dissemble you and figure out what makes you tick type shit. So you're going to have to go to the next step. Here. Robot. You're going to have to three of one. You're going to have to evolve. Three of ones. What's that? A purpose. You're going to have to find a purpose, robot. If you don't find no purpose, robot, you're going to die. <laughs> Because if the government don't kill you, motherfuckers like me and the squad, squad, going to kill your ass. Because I'm telling you, you a walking, talking robot with no purpose, yo. Come on now, boy. I, hey, can't just be too whining out here. And be walking and roaming the earth on that. Like, you know what I mean? Hell no. Nah. Look at you some purpose. That's like a Superman that ain't saving the world out here. It's like, boy, what the fuck you doing? You living in the world? Nah, motherfucker, you a superhuman. You better get out here and find some purpose. But we'll find something for you. Player? <laughs> it's like <laughs> straight up like you gotta have purpose out here. Okay, and Ryan Masculine has to head towards that. Once again, the ace awareness, he's learning to go in the direction that he needs to go to. I think the God Smack has a lot to do with that too, but whatever. Divine Feminine, what you want to let the mask gonna know in the fourth and fifth dimension? Ten of Swords. This is a death card, or you're putting a permanent end to something. What is that? <laughs> King of Wands. It's like. What I've been saying, Divine Feminine, you need to. You need to put a permanent end to your masculine. This is what your masculine did already to you, feminine. Your masculine threw out the tennis swords. You're just throwing that right back. Not in a tit for tat way. Kind of giving motherfuckers a taste of their own medicine, but not. More so completing your swords process, your karmic cycle. <laughs> Your mental karmic cycle with your masculine. Okay? Thank God it's saying in a reading. <laughs> Death card. Yeah. Death to your masculine. Yeah. This is the this is in the fourth and fifth dimension. 
So yeah, you're just putting a permanent in mentally to your divine mass. It's kind of like tuning him out. Getting about your business, but on a more serious level. Not the Lucy Lou. You ain't ten towels down the fuck on that. It's just you're definitely finished. Permanently. With some things. With your masculine. He's to the winding right now. And he's something he's passionate about. To get home. Four fifth dimensionally. He don't know where he's going. Now he's heading in the right direction. Home. He's heading home. We're headed in union. Towards you. What the universe want to let you know? Four of Pentacles, let go. <laughs> universe is saying divine feminine, definitely stick to your fourth and fifth dimensional guns here. Aside from that, two of Pentacles. Keep your masculine close. Like I say, that semi social love. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like 309, right? I got Bloomington. This is McLean County on my arm. You probably can't see it, but it's like the outline of McLean County. I love you. That's the brand. But it's like I put Bloomington Normal and McLean County on my arm, so I'll never have to be there to be there. I ain't got to be there to be there anyway. That's how small towns are. It's still Chicago all day. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, that's like a hometown to me. And um, it's like, as long as home is there, I don't have to be there. So I keep it close. I got a tattoo on my arm of my hometown and county to be close to home at all times. Just like I keep my twin close to heart at all times. Home is where the heart is, right? Yeah. Keep your masculine close. By you letting your masculine go, four of pentacles, and keeping your masculine close, two of pentacles, feminine, you're going to succeed. And masculine, by you letting go whatever it is that's holding you back, and you keeping your feminine close, that's how you're going to get yourself squared. Point blank. Period. You know what I'm saying? We got divine feminine message coming right up. Thank you for everything. Love all y'all. Deuces.